In this video, learn how to use Mail Merge to email multiple people. For example, you have an email with the same content that you want to send to a list of people. You don't want to put their email addresses into the to field because everyone would see each other's email addresses. You don't want to put their email addresses into the BCC field as you want to personalize the email by addressing it to an individual's name. Before we start with the Mail Merge, let's take a look at the data source. This is my data source, which has been created in Excel. Maybe you have something similar already. It contains all the contact information I need to complete the mail merge, such as the name and email address. Each column has a heading, and these will be my mail merge fields. More about these in a moment. Remove any rows above these column headings. Save and close the spreadsheet. To create the email content, we're gonna use Word instead of Outlook. It's not logical, but stick with me. Go to the Mailings tab, and then start mail merge. In this example, we want email messages. We now need to connect our data source. To do this, we go to select recipients. My data source is in Excel, so I go to use an existing list. I then navigate to our data source, which is this spreadsheet here. Click OK to this to confirm. On this screen, you're selecting where your contact details are. So my one is nicely named contact details, so nice and easy. Make sure that this box down here at the bottom is selected. First row of data contains column headings. Click OK. You know when the data source is connected, when these icons here are activated and are no longer greyed out. When I click Insert Merge Field, you can see I've got my column headings from the data source we saw earlier. I'm now going to pop in my email content. So here's an email that I prepared earlier, which tells my clients when the office is closed. If you want to include your email signature, just go to a new email in Outlook that has your signature and just copy this. I'm gonna paste it here by keeping the source formatting, which you can do with a simple right click. Let's get rid of that extra space. Now it's time to start inserting the merge fields. Click where you want the first one to go. I want to personalize this email by inserting the customer's first name after dear. To do this, click insert merge field and select first name and then put a comma after that. When you have finished inserting the merge fields, it is recommended that you do a quick preview to see how the content will look when finished. You can see the first name field has changed to a name. You can click here to see the other records in your data source. Once you're happy with the content and you're ready to send, go to finish and merge. Edit individual documents is more for letters and other types of documents. It just allows you to, to check uh, before completing. You do have print documents, which will just send it straight to the printer. But for this example, we want send email messages. In the to field, it's automatically picked up the email field, which is great. But if I click here just to show you, it gives me a list of the other fields that are in my data source. I pop in a subject. You can choose to send all emails in your data source. The current one, which in this example would be number four. If you have a lot of contacts in your data source, I recommend choosing a range as the mail merge process can slow down your outlook. And then click OK. The emails are now being sent one by one. Let's jump into Outlook to take a look. Here's the list of individual emails that have been sent using the mail merge. Mine are sitting in my Outbox because I've switched my Outlook to be offline. I didn't want to email these fictional addresses. Let's open one up to take a look. As you can see, the email address and name is inserted automatically, helping to personalize this email. If you found this video useful, Please click like so it can reach more people.